What's happening guys? Chris VA Travels down here in the mighty town of Saltville, Virginia, down in the southwest portion of the state. And just gonna take a walk around Salt Park. Just a, a little pull off on the side of the road, look pretty neat. Wanted to show this place off to you guys. And yeah, you've got the old salt furnace over there. You've got an old pump uh, behind that building. And as you see, we're uh, just uh, at the line of Washington and Smith counties. And yeah, Saltville's down this road about a mile. And I think that blue sign might be the end of the city limits. But yeah, anyway, first a little write up on Washington County, named of course after George Washington and formed, uh, okay, the year of the revolution, 1776 out of Fincastle. And Fincastle County actually extended and covered all of Kentucky at one time. And this is back when like six people <laughs> lived in the entire area, but it technically, yeah, covered all that area. So uh, yeah, it looks like Gen uh, General William Campbell, hero of King's Mountain, lived here. Also, Emory and Henry College was here. And these signs, as I like to point out, this goes back to 1934. So this thing's 90 years old, this sign. Yeah, over here, salt furnace uh, with original kettles. And obviously you see they uh, start the fire right there and they would put the brine, they get out of the ground in the kettles and boil it, cook it until it was salt. Yeah, here we are right here in a little write up uh, some Civil War action. And it looks like Confederate General Sam Jones proposed defenses here at Saltville to protect the mines. There were two battles down here. And yeah, construction began that year and it looks like uh, they built trenches, uh, earthen forts. There are arsenals, camps, troops here. They had pickets on all the roads. And the, yeah, the Virginia-Tennessee line is what ran through town. And here's an old picture from 1857 out of Harper's Weekly. Uh, yeah, found bones and teeth of woolly mammoths, short-nosed bear. Yeah, all kinds of uh, saber-toothed cats. Yeah, there's a museum, like I say, in Saltville down there. I would recommend checking out. And you might not think that uh, salt is that important, but you remember, uh, you have to remember, obviously, this is before refrigeration, and salt is how you preserve the meat, so it was a big deal. Yeah, if you couldn't uh, feed your army, you were in trouble. Oh, all right. So just maybe these are some, I don't know what these are, donors down here. I see some numbers on them. Not sure what they, uh, hmm. Not sure exactly what they, uh, what they stand for. There's a bench over here, so I guess I'm allowed to, I can walk back here, but I'll just stick the camera in here. Yeah, okay. So. Yeah, some big kettles right here, and these are original. And I wonder how much uh, salt each of these would produce. Yeah, there you go, to chimney back there. Pretty neat. All right, so yeah, let me walk around, take a look at some of these buildings. Oh, Chihuahua. Yeah, it's a little town right off 81. Uh, you take the Chiloe exit to get to uh, to get down here. All right. Yeah, we're in a kind of little valley here in the mountains. Some hatched up doors. And I'm sure they make these hatches over at the local iron furnaces dovetail design holding these uh, timbers together and kind of a more of a modern uh, chimney I wonder if this is uh... okay we've got a right up here yeah, okay this is a, a, an authentic log cabin all right I thought it might be a reproduction are those cedar shingles up there most likely kind of growing some moss on them but all right it was originally located on a farm in the uh, Clinchburg area about six miles from here uh, moved here in 1972 well you've got what electricity running to it <laughs> oh, does that say flowers well it looks like they had a little flower bed right there what is this kind of like a uh i don't see a sign on it flowers again right there i don't know some sort of little they stored stuff in there maybe i don't know well yeah everything's locked up Okay, yeah, there's not too much in there. 
Okay, I see kind of a model uh, of the complex back there, and just I see some just sharpening stones and just some uh, tools, uh, anvil back there. So, a couple more kettles over here. Yeah. And then lastly, we got the walking beam pump. Okay, so. Yeah, okay, you see it's powered by this wheel. First walk over here. Oh, there's something else back there. All right, so. Hmm. Pretty cool beam pump. Well, I probably should read about it uh, first. Okay, steam powered. Uh, yeah, these would pump the brine from the salt wells. I guess the brine shot out of that into that kind of hose or uh, through the uh, pump log pipes to the salt furnaces. Okay, so pump the uh, pump the brine to the salt furnaces. Uh, okay, yeah, you see the steam would power the wheel. Okay, here you go. Okay, well, cool. All right, so back here, ruins of the original salt furnace. Whoa, a dip in the ground right there. Cool. All right, well. Anyway, yeah, so cool, uh, cool little stop off if you're ever down here in the area. And so yeah, that's how salt is pumped out of the ground and, and processed and, and cooked. So yeah, out of the ground and into the furnace. All right guys, getting out of here. As always, like and subscribe and I'll uh, see y'all next week.